Hello everyone, welcome back to another session with me. I am Sayukta Saxena, a certified Zentangle teacher. And this new series is on Zen buttons. Yes, basically uh, a concept given by uh, CZT Margaret Samanna. And she came up with this uh, system of concentric circles being used just like we use in Mandala. Uh, we'll be using concentric circles and arranging fragments or different Zentangle patterns in it right so just a small twist that i have given to this uh, zen button is this thing that i have inserted in white and kept it white and it is really standing out as you can see right so we will be using both a mix of warm palette and cold uh, palette of colors or you can keep it black and white entirely up to you so i use some warm colors here and uh, the Zen button is usual, right? Just uh, this is the uh, Zen factor added to it, right? So let's get started and draw uh, using the same color combination today. We will use some different fragments. You can also use uh, Zen tangle uh, patterns, tangles, right? So uh, let's get started and as we proceed, you will get to understand more, right? So these circles the concentric circles i have given a double line right you can see i have given gold uh, to this piping or double line or auras right so <coughs> you can either use a compass to draw these circles uh, since it is a deviation from uh, the pure zentangle we are creating a zentangle inspired thing here right so you can either use a compass if you are not uh, very confident drawing the circles freehand or you can draw it freehand entirely up to you right so this is a marker operandus basically i am going to use it to mark my four uh, corners to find the center of this tile right so just marking the four zeros and with a ruler or freehand again i am giving you both the options just light line connecting these points to find the center of the circle the zendala that we are going to use yeah so now i have a compass with me if you want you can just go freehand it is entirely up to you as i mentioned originally zentangle does not recommend using any of these tools so I'm going to be starting with a small circle like this. Yeah, and insert a smaller one inside like this. And then start drawing my circles. So you can decide on the width. So I'm going to keep it like, I think this is a good width. The radius is fine. So I have drawn the first one. Yeah, so I'll just, yeah. And then give an aura at the same time. So aura because I want to give it gold. Right. And then I can measure this width and then again add another. Right. So just add one more. So you can very comfortably do this exercise. I have done it many times while drawing my tiles. Just that in Zen buttons, it is all about circles. So, uh, and I am adding auras to each. So, it is a little easier this way. Yeah, that's the only thing. Again, I am going to take the same width, right? And then start from the center again and draw another one. And then an aura. Right. And then a thin aura on the outside. Like this. Yeah. So our tile is ready. We are all set to go. Now let us first draw what we want to be superimposed. Just like the tile that I showed you. We can now remove this. So this thing since it is without any color and it has to stand out. It is absolutely white. So we will first draw that thing here. Right. <coughs> so 
I'll pick up my bolder nib that is 08 yeah and first ink this circle right if you want you can add that aura also and then I'm going to add the tangle called drawings right so I'll just write down the tangles uh, for you after some time so I am going to start with this S shape draw a couple of them not too big not too small right and probably you can add one more here like this right and then from the back of the S I am going to come back like this Right, so I'm using a bolder pen. I want it to be prominent. And then from the back again, I'm going to come back like this. So drawings is a pattern we have already done. Please refer to my previous video if you are new to the tangle. Right? So I'm just going to leave it here. You can always use a eraser. Again, it is something out of the way that we are using. And just remove these lines which are coming in between my drawings. Yeah, because I want it to be absolutely clean. Nothing inside white just like the sample tile that I've showed you right so just remove the lines from inside your drawings yeah so now the next thing I'm going to do is pen the rest of the concentric circles along with the aura. Right? So just take your time and with a bold nib ink the circles. So this is a very integral part of Zen buttons. Now I am drawing it, I am inking the circles because I want to put gold inside whereas it is entirely optional you may may not ink once you draw all the fragments and you shade it you may not even require this inking right. So I am inking it here because I want gold inside it. So strings as we know are generally not inked and in case of a Zen button this is the string. So once you draw all the fragments and tangles inside and you shade the ends just like we shade a border we generally don't need these lines. Yeah, Go seamless. However as I mentioned since I intend to put gold I am inking them. Right? So slight personal touch to whatever we do. Always a good idea. Try to make it your own. There is no harm in taking an inspiration. However, once you start with your own Try and give it your personal touch, something that you like, some way that you like, right? And finally the last one, so take your time and slowly ink, right? So we have done our groundwork, right? So the next thing that I am going to be doing is pick up my colors. So I will be using these same colors, right? So starting with a lighter shade. 
again you have to take care that you don't add anything inside your drawings so this is a brush pen and it says yellow so you can always use your watercolor panel anything right whatever is readily available and then I will move on to probably red it's more like a rustic red so I'm almost coloring it not touching or you can put watercolor at the ends and then just spread it right so I want some bold colors so I am almost coloring it with my brush pen so just be careful that you don't enter your drawings carefully right so this color is little dark so if you want you can tangle on it with white also so you can always use your jelly roll I'm going to stick to black for tangling however since the color is a bit dark so you can use your white jelly roll pen also as far as tangling on this section of the Zen button is concerned yeah so use your skills use your imagination going to orange now <coughs> so generally either we stick to a warm palette or a cool palette uh, you can mix the two also if you want it very eye-catching and vibrant however reds and blue uh, reds and you know yellows and orange look nice together have a nice soothing effect on the eye however they are bright colors the soothing effect is by blues and greens and you know shades like those these are vibrant but they look coordinated yeah and finally uh, probably this one this is not yellow not orange something in between it says deep yellow yeah so colors are pretty close to each other and using them to color the sections of my zen button take your time and just add those colors with your brush pen yeah so I have done that exercise now is the time to tangle so let us select a few so I am now going to you can either use an O1 or an O2 right I have an O2 also let us see which one do we want to use so now uh, we are going to use some fragments here so so when I say fragments fragments are basically uh, something that you put inside a grid or a reticula to fill up it, to fill it up right so almost all zentangle patterns can be used as fragments right and uh, or uh, there have been fragments prescribed in the Zentangle Primer Volume 1 which is the official book released by Zentangle headquarters and I will be giving a reference of the number uh, the fragment that I will be using so the first is V2 right V2 which uses the tangle wells yeah so the center tangle that we used is called drawings 
this tangle is called drawings right and now the first fragment that we are going to be using which is a wells fragment is fragment v2 right so let's get started and uh, looking for my o1 yeah so i am going to divide my outermost section into sort of squares like this right so this is the reticula or the grid and what i am going to insert inside is the fragment fragment have a speciality that when arranged in different ways they have the you know possibility of forming different meta patterns right so they themselves create patterns when combined in certain ways and arranged in different grids grids what we call reticula and fragments what i am going to draw now inside each of these sections right so this is fragment v2 which is basically wells we know how to draw wells started with a circle and these curved lines emanating from the circles to each corner of the square give a nice curve retrace a part of the circle to get that flow as you can see i am going like this right again going like this retracing a part of the circle to get that curve yeah so going to continue like this and then we will make it into a flower and complete the pattern wells first this is the grid yeah so i'm almost finishing drawing my grid so i have drawn all these lines in the same direction you can change the look of this uh pattern by changing the direction of the lines also right so that is how it forms meta patterns now the second step is to form these petals right and then a line from here till the end of the petal right so that's one part of wells you can add lines here or you can ink it entirely up to you so i'm going to do that work alternatively ink in one and add lines in another one right again come back form a petal come back form a petal add these lines and then you can ink the next section right so you can do anything you like you can add v shapes here as i keep mentioning some amount of inking always looks nice so i don't want to ink too much also so we will ink alternate wells right the spaces left in between again the third one form the petal again line from here till the end and then lines right so i'm going to continue doing this take your time draw at your own pace no hurry
here so I am almost finishing inking the alternate wells I have already drawn the wells here right and inking the leftover space in the alternate ones So slowly whatever space is left after drawing your wells the flower just ink it or add some lines add some orbs add some v-shapes whatever you feel like entirely up to you right so one section is done let us now move on to the next fragment next fragment that I'm going to use is V7 right and it is basically a simple spiral you can draw the spiral clockwise or anti-clockwise and then I'm going to just add these lines all throughout just like we draw Marasu but no double lines here, no inking here, right? So just a simple spiral and some lines, right? So you can either draw it in this fashion or you can create segments, the same squares and then draw it inside, right? So it is entirely up to you. How do you want to go about? I am not drawing segments here. We will see if you want to insert something in the leftover space or we want to ink it yeah so let us first draw these spirals so when I say V7 it is the reference number of the fragment from the book right you can just watch me how I am drawing it yeah that should be if you don't have the book that's fine you can just watch me while I draw it yeah So just like printums, I've drawn a spiral and then adding these lines inside it, right? The lines are not absolutely straight, they are, have a slight bend. Yeah, so I will go on like this. So almost finishing drawing my spirals now, finishing the second section. Adding those lines inside the spirals, slight curved lines just as we draw inside Marasu. right so we are done with that exercise also now the third one entirely up to us 
choose a fragment of your choice inside here I am going to add some Bronx shears yeah and in this section probably we can add a pattern called hybrid right so I'm just going to add some triangles like these again hybrid inside a triangle becomes a fragment although it is drawn inside such a grid only right so what I have done is divided this red section and then I'm going to just add the triangle hybrid hybrid is drawn in this fashion only so basically straight line with a zigzag inside it and then these auras from both sides right so the center tangle drawings and this tangle that I'm drawing hybrid are both Zentangle originals yeah released by Zentangle headquarters so this part if you want you can tangle with white also if you wish to if you think the color is dark and black is not as prominent or visible you can always tangle with your jelly roll I don't feel like changing the ink you can also embellish your hybrid using a different color let's see if you want to do that right so simple lines just like we do betweed however no rounding involved here no weights simple lines to get this nice weave yeah and this section also if you want you can add some pattern or you can just add the Bronx shear that I mentioned again some bit of inking some bit of bold drama tangles it's always a good idea You may just leave it yellow also if you want the yellow to be prominent yeah so I think we are done with the yeah tangling part now let us move on to shading first so as far as shading the center I'm just going to add some mild shade graphite on this line right this is a bigger pencil you can see always use a small pencil it's easier to use the edges of a small pencil so once this is done then both sides of your circles the best way to shade Zen buttons
if you have a grey brush pen do keep it handy as we would like to do this border re-emphasize it with a grey brush pen although graphite is sufficient but grey emphasizes it at a little more and it looks adds a little more depth to your buttons right the last row is concerned I'll just add a touch on the petals not adding on both sides since we have inking involved just a slight touch on the petals yeah now let us blend so I'm just going to softly blend so this is a new dot lawn yeah so just a mild shadow at the ends of your drawings Yeah. If you want, you can add your yellow here. Yeah, looks good. So now I'm going to blend the graphite inside on both sides. Just soften it next one yeah so almost finishing with my blending blending my wells also the small touch of graphite that I gave on the petals yeah now what you can do is use your grey brush pen and re-emphasize this end a little bit just a soft touch to add that depth at times graphite is not enough so I'm just redoing both sides of my concentric circles, adding a little more darkness on both sides, just on the graphite, carefully, yeah, again here. Just touching lightly on the graphite my grey brush pen on the other side So the ends become a little more darker yeah uh, yeah so the next step now is to use your gold jelly roll or gold uh, this is uniball signo 0.8 or you can use your sakura jelly roll gold and add the gold in this 
white section right so the auras will now be turned into gold I'm using a gold pen I'm using a uniball you can use a sakura or a uniball or any other marker pen gel pen whatever is readily available and just take your time and make it gold yeah So I have done gold in all those auras or spaces that were left, right? And this is how it looks like. So small little things that you can also do is add a little white here inside the orb that you have drawn for wells. So I am using my jelly roll white here adding a touch of white here to add some zen to my wells make sure your gold has dried up don't put your hands on it immediately yeah if you want you can touch it at few other places also uh, I don't think I do want to do it uh, probably this a slight touch of white will make it stand out a little more probably right so now that we have done that the last step is to add your chalk yeah so chalk in the center it acts as a highlight like this yeah then the next just wait for one minute so that the jelly roll dries up so now to the next in between press the chalk and add a highlight in the center Right. Same exercise you can do for welts also. I'm going to break it a little. Basically connecting the orbs so that the highlight looks somewhere in sync. we are done so just take a different stub and soften it brush off the excess yeah we are done so this is our Zen button for today, right? So I'm going to now initial my tile. Initial it anywhere you like. Probably. Yeah. Sign and date it. Sign. 
so i will see you with another new zen button right probably we'll use some cool colors uh do post your comments do post your suggestions your feedback i look forward to reading them acting on them yeah have a good time stay safe bye bye